Tom Dashley Fast Facts Here's a look into the life of former Senator Tom Dashley of South Dakota. Personal birth date. December 9, 1947 Birthplace. Aberdeen, South Dakota Birth name. Thomas Andrew Dashley Father. Sebastian Dashley Mother. Betty Dashley Marriages. Linda Hall Dashley, 1984 Present. Lori Fulton Dashley, divorced in 1983. Children. With Lori Dashley. Kelly, Nathan and Lindsay Education. South Dakota State University, BA in Political Science, 1969 Military. U.S. Air Force, 1969 to 1972 Timeline 1969 to 1972 Serves in the Air Force as an intelligence officer in the Strategic Air Command. 1973 to 1977 A to South Dakota Senator James Abourisk. 1978 Elected to the U.S. House of Representatives in a hotly contested race. After numerous recounts, Dashley is declared the winner over Leo K. Thorsness by 105 votes. 1982 is re-elected to House with 51.6% of the vote. 1984 is re-elected to House with 57.4% of the vote. 1986 is elected to the U.S. Senate with 51.6% of the vote, the exact same result as 1982. 1989-1999 serves as co-chair of the Senate Democratic Policy Committee with George Mitchell of Maine, 1989-1995, and Harry Reid of Nevada, 1995-1999. 1992 re-elected to the Senate with 64.9% of the vote. 1995-2001 serves as Senate Minority Leader, succeeding Mitchell. 1995-2005 serves as Chairman of the Senate Democratic Conference. 1995 along with his wife, FAA official Linda Dashley, is involved in a scandal concerning the Federal Aviation Administration and B&L Aviation, a small airline which had trouble passing safety inspections and whose owner was a family friend. Dashley is accused of improperly asserting influence to reduce the amount of inspections B&L received. The incident is later cleared by the Transportation Department and the Senate Ethics Committee. 1996 co-chairs the Democratic National Convention with Richard Gephardt, the Democratic House Minority Leader. 1998 re-elected to a third term in the Senate, with 62.1% of the vote. June 6, 2001, becomes Senate Majority Leader by one vote after Jim Jeffords quits the Republican Party. October 2001 a Dashley 8 opens a letter containing anthrax, the Hart Senate building staff are evacuated, tested for anthrax, and given a 60-day supply of antibiotics. January 2003 to 2005 serves as Senate Minority Leader. January 7, 2003, Dashley announces that he will not be running for president in 2004 and will remain in the Senate. November 2, 2004, loses his Senate seat to Republican John Thune. March 5, 2005 to 2009 serves as special public policy advisor at the Washington branch of law firm Alston and Byrd. December 2, 2006 announces that he will not be running for president in 2008. 2007 co-founds the Bipartisan Policy Center with George Mitchell, Bob Dole and Howard Baker. December 11, 2008, U.S. President-elect Barack Obama nominates Dashley to be Secretary of Health and Human Services and Director of the White House Office of Health Reform. January 8, 2009 Confirmation hearings for Dashley begin in the Senate. February 2, 2009 In a letter to the Senate Finance Committee, Dashley admits to errors on his tax returns. The issue involves Dashley's use of a car and driver he didn't disclose on his income taxes and non-payment of taxes on more than $80,000 he earned in consulting fees after leaving the Senate. He paid $146,000 in back taxes and interest to correct the errors. February 3, 2009 announces that he is withdrawing his name from consideration as Secretary of Health and Human Services. November 18, 2009 – October 2014 – Senior Policy Advisor for business law firm La Piper. 2013 – His book The U.S. Senate. Fundamentals of American Government is published. October 2014 – Dashley leaves La Piper and forms the Dashley Group, a public policy advisory of the Baker Donaldson Law Firm. November 2, 2017 – Dashley and his son Nathan Dashley are named two of Capitol Hill's top lobbyists in 2017. October 23, 2019 co-authors an op-ed in the Washington Post, along with former Senator Trent Lott, titled The Senate Can Hold a Fair Impeachment Trial. We did it in 1999. Click subscribe to receive the latest news.